Hi everyone and welcome. I'm the Retro Repair Guy. This is just a really quick follow-up video on the uh, retro unboxing that we did for the Commodore 64. Apparently I had another box in the car, had no idea about it. I just found a bunch of stuff. There's power supplies galore here, uh, full of power supplies for the Commodore 64, Amiga, connectors, all kinds of stuff like that. Um, so I just found some interesting things that I wanted to follow up and present to you. And by the way, I just want to say thank you to all our new subscribers. It seems like the last video uh, was pretty popular anyways. As of today, I already had uh, 600 views and it was like uh, three days or uh, four days online. So um, thank you so much for joining and stay tuned because by the end of the week, I'm going to be having some uh, another show, uh, another full repair show. And as well, I have some Commodore 64s and Vic 20s coming up, full restorations uh, and many other things. So anyways, let me just show you quickly what I received here because I found some really interesting uh, things. I have, oh, many games. I found many, many games that were in here. Um, there's Jupiter Lander for the Vic 20. There's uh, in the chips, I think this one's some kind of gambling software. I'm not sure. I'm guessing poker or something like that. Uh, the Cosmic Cruncher for the VIC-20 again. These are all VIC-20, it seems. Rat Hotel. Hey, God. The sky is falling. I got poker. Here, I got really poker. I've got Gorf. I got more here. Let me just get a few of them. I got Seawolf. And I've got Raid on Fort Knox. I got Donkey Kong. Now this, I cannot wait to play. I've got, for the VIC-20, it's a double, uh, double cassette, Spike Speaks and Ghost Manor. So uh, this is a double cassette one. So each end, as you can see here. And then there is... This IBM personal uh, hardware reference library cartridge basic. Like that. That's a little, actually, I have no idea what this one is. Okay. Uh, I'm going to look into it and uh, I don't know. I'm going to try it out. There's a bunch of uh, little things here. Hacker. This one's interesting. There's nothing except a little note inside saying that they tell you how to load your software and then you're on your own. I'd like to try that. Uh, I'm, I don't see the disc though, so not sure. I'm going to keep looking. Uh, maybe at the end of the box here. Uh, again, there's a lot of power supplies, connectors, everything in there, so I'm not going to go through all that. Uh, the print manual, printer manual, sorry. I've got some uh, Commodore 64 uh, flight simulator maps. Here again, there's some more maps, by the way. Some more maps again for the Commodore 64 desktop publisher. So this one looks like it's for IBM PC family and Commodore 64 and 128. Um, murder mystery called the scoop. The the scoop. Scoop. Excuse me. This, <laughs> which made sense, right? The scoop. It's just me, okay? I'm like that. I have too many things in my head. So anyways, look, this is really in good quality. The, the plastic's still on, but the boxes are all amazing, intact. I don't even want to open it right now. Um, another double cartridge here. Tallmark, the Barbarian, and Motocross Racer. So again, a double cartridge for the VIC-20. Bar games from Accolade. So, want to get lucky, cruise into the hottest bar in town. Here, men are men and women are glad of it. So, <laughs> am I going to get in trouble for serious? <laughs> so, anyways, so this is good old 80s games. And uh, Read Easy, an educational reading practice game. It says with over 60,000 different sentences of text. So, uh, again, here's a, this one is for IBM PC and compatibles. It looks like I got a kernel ROM here. It looks like a brand new one, actually. I'm not sure. I'm gonna have to check that, but it looks like a brand, brand new for the Commodore 64. Um, 
I got a couple of things here, which of course I want to share with you. This is a RAM expansion module for the for the Commodore 64, a RAM expansion module. Um, I also found two modems, one for the Amiga, one for the Amiga and one for the Commodore. So two nice modems here. And then this, I was really happy to find one of these old rotary phones that's really heavy. I love, love, and we'll be restoring this for sure. Uh, maybe I'll make an episode. I, I got a bunch of phones, but I've never told you guys. Uh, but I have a bunch, and I mean a bunch of phones. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I collect phones. And, uh, of course, you saw in the last episode my pay phone uh, that's there. So I definitely want to make a show on phones. Uh, restore them. I want to retro bite this. I, I love phones. I love old phones from the 80s. So anyways, um, I just wanted to share this with you. Again, thank you for all our new subscribers. This was just a little pit stop between uh, me filming the other show and to say thank you to follow up on this. And I'll be seeing you at the end of the week. Bye-bye.